Sorry, hands up, just... Okay, so hands up who just saw Star Trek. Um, sorry, I've like only just got in, hence the buzziness. Don't worry, if I'm going to say any spoilers, I will warn you so you can carry on watching. Don't worry if you haven't seen it. What was I saying? Okay, hi. Uh, today is Sunday. So I am going to talk about Star Trek now, and I am going to say stuff that actually happens in it. So if you don't want to know, I will put a little time here. This time, or maybe here. Anyway, that time is when uh, I've finished talking about Star Trek and you can skip to them um, and watch it when you've seen it. By the way, don't put spoilers in the comments, please. Go away. If you're still watching and you haven't seen the film, please go away. Um, I, I actually really liked it. I'm not going to go into it in too much detail, but there were several things that um, made me like it. One was that um, Simon... Peg Scotty, I already knew he was in it from years, from ages ago. I love him. Uh, but he said dilithium. I was waiting the entire movie. He didn't say dilithium crystals. He did say dilithium. So that made me happy. Second thing that made me happy. Oh, when they went down to the planet, Kirk and Sulu, and they took a guy with him. <sighs> Trekkies will have noticed he was wearing red, and thus he was doomed. Um, so yeah, he got it, um, that made me happy, not that someone died, but, okay, we, yeah, because a red shirt died. Um, in terms of money-making potential, well, they left it open for, for sequels because of the alternate reality, they can create different storylines that didn't happen in the original, which is quite clever, and we know that in the original Star Trek, alternate realities are, spo are possible, are spockable? They're spockable. <laughs> They destroyed Falcon. Uhura and Spock. Whew. Girls, who else kind of wanted to kiss Spock? I saw it with my parents. And we got in the car. My mum said, can you just explain the tie and travel thing to me again? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We had to explain it about a million times. Times. Anyway, it resulted in this. The Romulus is destroyed. That hole is created. The Romulus go into the hole. They come out here in past with Baby Kirk. Um, they come out and they kill Kirk Senior. Then they wait a few minutes after in the future. Old Spock went through. He came out here in the present where Kirk is like 25 year old. Um, they capture Old Spock. Falcon is destroyed. And young Spock and Kirk destroys the Romulans. Um, and I showed this to my mum. She understood it. And then she said, I didn't know Kirk's dad died. Anyway, the thing that I love the most and the reason why I'm really buzzed is the ending. Leonard Nimoy said the space, the final frontier. As soon as I heard the word space, space I seriously nearly peed my pants. I mean, I'm not joking. I had to hold it in. And the music! <laughs> I finally finished talking about the movie and the rest of this vlog is going to be really boring because I don't have anything else to say. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared at all. As I think I've mentioned, I've been on Weight Watchers. Not doing very well. I'm really, really good. I'm accounting for my, for what I've lost and gained um, in three weeks. <laughs> I've lost one pound. So, someone somewhere does not want me to go on a diet. Uh, but I'm sticking to it because I'm fucking determined. Book challenge. I've got my birthday in a few weeks. Um, and I'm just going to say get me books. Because if I've got a big pile of brand new books, um, then I might read them. I'm reading a new book, Treasure Island. It's a classic and I kind of wanted to read it. Arr! A bowl of this, the pirate makes, so grab yourself some treasure snakes. <laughs> Sorry, no one is going to get that reference because it's to an English program. I love you all. Lots and lots and lots. Oh my god, big Harry Potter posters! Adam, live long and prosper.